Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric. Last part of this video here, wanted to show you the result of everything. Um, when we're done, uh, all our breakers will be labeled to our panel schedule. So right here, it states where everything is at the house. All our extra dead fronts are on. If we not, we had had to put a spacer, our main covering here. So we know where our wires go. You can take it one step further if you want. You can sometimes label these to say what you need to say with a white piece of tape or number it and leave the panel schedule. So if the breaker moves around, you'll know where it's at. Um, the other thing is that we tie our neutrals to our hots like this. We twist them up about three to four, five, six times. Uh, that way, if we come back and they want to put arc fault breakers in, she mentioned she might want that in the future. We already know where our neutral is, so we don't have to go digging in here. Now, if you have a whole bundle coming out like this, a rat's nest like that, you may want to try to twist, but that makes it hard because it starts to push out pretty far. But you could label as you twist it your neutral, so you know that circuit 1, 3, 5, and you know your neutrals here is 1, 3, and 5, and then that way you can come back later and put arc fault breakers in and start testing. Um, anyways, guys, I think arc fault breakers are here to stay. I think people should get used to that. Uh, here's a prime example right here is our dishwasher disposal. This is a multi-branch circuit with a neutral. So if you're thinking that you can just pull your dry, uh, pull your cabinets and resurface without touching your wires, uh, you're sadly mistaken. Most homes, even back in the 60s, will have a multi-branch circuit in your dishwasher disposal. And now those have to be arc faulted. And if they're closer than six foot to the edge of the sink, they have to be GFCI'd as well. And they are making combination type breakers that are going to be a arc fault arc fault slash GFCI breaker um, but yeah so your dishwasher disposal uh, sometimes you'll see a black and a red here going to two separate uh, kitchen outlets one to the top one to the island or whatever and that has to now be separated too and run a separate circuit so when you're doing a kitchen remodel if somebody says oh you don't need to do that and worry about that uh, he is sadly mistaken. Most likely it's probably a kitchen company just trying to sell you a kitchen and uh, they come in and surface everything and they don't even touch the electrical. If they're unlicensed in any manner, you should never have them in your home wiring. But again, this is the result of what we did and how we will prevent in the future for arc fault breakers uh, just to make it easier for us to put them in to prevent any extra work. And um, this is how neat it looks. It should look like a rib cage. A lot of guys come in and tuck this extra wire in. Uh, that's unnecessary. Don't do that. Uh, the code does talk about extra fill in the panel. You don't need that. You can always splice in the panel and add a little.